So we're going to finish it off. Yeah, I can. Well, let's go. I feel like it's been a while since they talked to you, probably rookie camp. Um, what's kind of been the difference between your work in rookie camp versus what you're being asked to do now? Mm. Um, I mean, as, I think as far as assignments and the expectations, it's pretty much the same. But as you get in the training camp, pads come on. Like the the way you execute that changes a little bit. But they've been really straightforward with what they want, and, and I've just been working on trying to execute it. Um, getting a lot of reps at left guard and center. How's that kind of cross training been for you? I mean, I know mean, you have years of being able to do it anyways, but now going up against Trey Jarrett, you know, every day. What's the what's the transition been like for you to kind of work on those two positions? Yeah, uh, I mean. I've been incredibly thankful to get to practice against guys like that and uh, and learn from people like Chris and and Josh Andrews and all those guys because they're incredibly talented. Um, so yeah, I really enjoy getting to do both. It's just more stuff that I need to improve on, and I'm getting the opportunity to work it every day. So that's been really nice. Zach, what has uh, slowed down? Is anything? Well, I think the more uh, the more confident I become with my assignments, like the the less I'm like kind of antsy at the line, trying to get the call out and all that stuff. So that, that slows down a little bit. And then then I can really focus on the physical aspect. So I think that's been getting better with reps, uh, but definitely need a lot of work still. When it comes to second nature, then just focus on what you do. Exactly. Yeah. Jarvis? Uh, yes, Ruben, I, I talked to folks about Chris Fisherman and how the work he's doing against, doing against a guy like Ray Jared. Like, what have you seen from Chris that kind of like really stood out to you that you feel like you want to be focused on? <laughs> Yeah, Chris, as I mentioned before, is just an incredible player. Um, and just the way that, I mean, I won't get too much into specifics, but the way he handles his pass protection. Okay, <laughs> yeah. Uh, just learning from him and how he pass protects and how he thinks about it, the speed that he plays with in the run game, all that is stuff that like is great for me to watch because I can try to emulate it a little bit. Um, and just a great teammate, too. So I've been enjoying learning from him. When you're watching the film, what do you, what do you use to say? I think um, kind of going in steps, I, I first I look at the mental side of it. Did I make the right calls? Are we are we in the right play? All those things. And then from there, I can look at how is my footwork? How is my other technique? And I kind of critique myself that way. And then look at the other guys and see what they're doing well and try to pick up on some of that myself. Yeah. Uh, we usually ask this question to skill guys who say, you know, receivers or quarterback, what's the difference between you come from college to the league? But you get a guy like Grady in front of you, what's that been like as far as the progression of, okay, I'm not playing against a guy in college, but a guy who's been here for a while. What have you learned about that part? Um, I think, I mean, it's a great learning experience, first and foremost, for me. So I've, that's been good. But like, just the, the margin for error seems to be a lot smaller, is kind of what I feel. Like, if you, if you have a flaw in your game, it's going to get found quicker by a player like that. So that's been something to uh, to adjust to. And then the same thing, it kind of speeds up my improvement because you get to go against a guy that's so talented and so good. Uh, so I think it's a, a good opportunity. Scott? As you go back and watch this this practice tape, are you noticing that you're, that, that you're making the right calls more and more often? Are you seeing progress from the mental side of it? I think so, yeah. I've been... Uh, the coaching staff has done an awesome job of preparing us every day, film study, the meetings before, and then learning from other the older vets and stuff. So I think that's been that's been progressing, and I've uh, obviously got a lot to work on still, but it's getting better. How, how, how uh, much of a resource ha has has uh, Matt been in this process to to know the scheme? Yeah, Matt, I'm an absolutely awesome teammate, great guy. So I'm always asking him questions and bouncing stuff off him, seeing how he does things. Uh, so he's been an incredible resource, and I've been really appreciative of that. Zach, what's the goal for Friday? Please. I think just play with, execute the things that we really focus on as a team. Really play with the most, like my standard of effort and our team's standard of effort, and just kind of improve on the things I've been working on, improving on. So I want to, I want to see myself play as hard as I can and fix some of the things that I've really been working on. Couple more. How important is the relationship between the offensive line and, and the running backs and quarterbacks? You know, when you're out there playing. I think it's very important. Um, I mean, us us all being on the same page in the run game and pass protection is is what's going to make it go. So 
them knowing how we're handling stuff and us knowing what they're handling is uh, pretty important for making sure that we're sound up front. Bob, Andrew, um, has there been a struggle at all, you know, sort of transitioning from like the center to the bar, like those two spots being there? Is this a bit sort of good for you, like something you're not really concerned about? Um, I, don't, I wouldn't say I'm not concerned. I mean, there's a lot of stuff i got to work on with both. Um, so that's really my main focus. I don't, I don't care too much about what position I'm playing. I just want to improve. Uh, as an offensive lineman, and so I'm getting the chance to do that at both. And there's a best interest in improving this offensive line. I can grab that from you, like Jalen, uh, Caleb, and all these guys who are still relatively new to the team. Uh, what's like the main goal for all you guys, just trying to get better and making sure that is on the bottom? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, just we, we want to run the football and, and pass protect, but just like any good offensive line. So really focusing on that, um, keeping guys healthy, keeping guys upright, doing all the right things, and uh, improving as we go. All right, last one, Zach. You have this perception of what camp will be, and now that you're in it, has the reality of anything kind of changed, a pleasant surprise, or you know, are you feeling afterwards, any kind of take you for a off guard or in a good way? Uh. I don't know. I mean, camp is camp for the most part. I've, I've enjoyed it. I think, it, I mean, the team's awesome to practice with. The guys practice with a lot of effort. So that's been uh, really nice to go out there every day and knowing that everybody is busting their butts to, to work hard. Um, but yeah, no, uh, nothing, nothing major. Just got to do the things right. All right. Thanks, Jeff. Mm -hmm. yeah, appreciate y'all.